All right, what's up guys? Uh, I am back again, another first scrub video. Uh, I am almost out of my last big brick of soap. My big brick is, is now kind of this little stick. So we're going to break out a new one. And today we're looking at Duke Cannon's Bay Rum I can never say this with a straight face, a big ass brick of soap. Um, so, Bay Rum is one of my favorite scents um, that I have encountered in men's products over the years. It's a classic. Uh, it goes back to probably the 40s, 50s, uh, probably even before that actually, but it's definitely an old school barbershop scent. Um, and uh, these guys have incorporated it into one of their huge bricks of soap. So we're gonna check this out today. Uh, it says here it's citrus musk, cedarwood, island spice, um, and uh, it's 10 ounces, made in USA. I've talked about Duquesne in, in many other videos. Uh, they are, um, a company that supports veterans. Uh, they're an American company and they've got just some great branding. Interesting, this one is in portrait view. And on the other side, it's in, oops, it's in landscape. So landscape, portrait. Anyway, I just noticed that. Um, they don't test on animals, uh, which is plus. Um, and then they do test on bad interns. Um, but uh, yeah, no uh, parabens, phthalates, um, fairly natural ingredients. I'll just read some of these here to you. Sodium palmate, sodium cocate, and or sodium palm kernelate, water, glycerin, fragrance, sodium chloride, iron oxides, tetrasodium adiramate, and pentasodium pentatate. No uh, sodium lauryl sulfate though. So that's good. Uh, no mineral oil. Um, so a lot of this stuff uh, covered on their other Big Brick of Soap videos. Three times uh, bigger than dainty bar soaps. Triple milled for superior quality. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, made in USA, not from France. Take that France. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, not for clown. When a direct flight to Puerto Vallarta is not an option, the big ass brick of soap provides a first class ticket to a better scent by way of invigoratingly bright notes of citrus musk, cedar wood, and island spices, giving you the sense that you're somewhere more relaxing than an office cube or on a shop floor. So, anyway, let's check this out. It's definitely big. It's got their Square D brand. It's got a stock number on it. I don't know why I like that, but I think it's cool that they got the stock number. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's see what this is about. Wow, this smells really good. It doesn't smell like my traditional Bay, like Bay Rum aftershaves. But it is kind of in that neighborhood. It's very tropical. Okay, we're getting some warmth here. So there you go, typical ladder, not super sudsy, not necessary. Feels good on the skin. Not tacky, rinses easily. All right, let's talk about it. So, uh, 
It does have a, a nice island scent to it, uh, which is very pleasant. Um, my skin feels clean, but also kind of moisturized. And um, it, uh, it rinses away easily. I don't feel like there's a residue left behind that's gonna kind of dry my skin out. So um, there's not too much else to say that I haven't said in other videos about these soaps. Um, it's, in my opinion, unless you have gigantic basketball, pro basketball player hands, uh, it's too big for um, like a face bar, um, but it's great for like a long lasting body bar in the shower, which is primarily what I use these for. I use smaller soaps uh, for my face. Um, they last a long time. I get a lot of uses out of them. And when it comes to getting clean, these guys deliver the goods and they do it without uh, destroying my skin. Um, these soaps really, you do get a lot of mileage out of them and you get a great wash every time. So check them out. I'm not affiliated. Uh, I'm just a very satisfied customer. They're one of many brands of um, soaps that I use. I do like to support them because they're a small American company. Um, let me know uh, if you have tried any of Duke Cannon's soaps, any that I haven't reviewed yet. I do have a few other scents to review, um, but even I bought a bunch of them recently, but even the ones I bought, I think I only bought like half of their offerings of different scents. So I'd love to hear which ones are your favorites and which ones you like. Uh, stay clean and God bless and uh, check out Duke Cannon Bay Brown. Lates.